<laughs> Tim Baker, welcome to the studio. Thanks. I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. you coming in. Oh, thanks for having Again, me. last time you were here, you brought the whole band and played some tunes for us. Yeah, that was fun. I remember now that I'm in this room. Now you're in the same room, yeah. Fondly. Yeah. It sounded nice. And now Red Heart's a single, and you played it for us last time, so that was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of cool. I, just it's kind of cool. Why Why just kind of? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like I like Red Heart. It's a really it's a real fun song live and everything. I, singles are strange, you know, choosing singles. Do you even have a choice, or is it all people yeah, for you? No, doing that, it? we had a, well, we had a, a sort of. I mean, it's an obvious sort of selection process. Like, there's many songs that we have that just can't be singles. Um, that makes sense. And uh, the, the the label actually wanted a different song, a song called "There's an Ark" to be the single. But wasn't that like kind of? Well, it, there's a video. It uh, well, there's, there's a little video, video for everything. We, isn't there? Uh, yeah. just did, we just did the other day, actually. But um, w- they wanted that one to be the single, but they didn't want it to be the same sort of song structure that it is. So we spent um, kind of a fraught couple of months trying to like chop it up, huh. and then like see how it felt with like verses and choruses in different orders, you know, and like they wanted, you know, they thought that radio would want sort of a chorus that repeats itself more, you know, like a more repetitive song, yeah. sort of easier to sort of digest and get caught in your head kind of song. And it just didn't work. We were all pretty disgusted every time we heard a new version. We're like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> you know, if I wanted it like that, I would have done it like that. Um, <laughs> that's a good you point. Know, so we ended up uh, going with, with Red Heart, which is, a, you know, a pretty, pretty catchy, pretty simple kind of obvious choice and I'm I'm you know I'm happy with it people like it you know yeah. it's not I don't think it's you know our best sort of written kind of what is your best sort of written hmm. um, that's a good question probably um, should save that for a little later that's a, well, that's a heavy one to start with hey, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there's there's uh, you know, I mean, I like like there's an arc, for example. I like. You mm-hmm. know, I was kind of happy with that choice, surprised with that choice. Um, I've been asleep. I thought would be kind of an obvious choice, which they did. I know Hawk wanted that to be the first single. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and uh, yeah, no, no radio sort of I played savvy it. people. I played it a few times. Of, yeah, well, thanks. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. You know, do what I can. Uh, I mean, like sort of the um, yeah, like the people that you, you know high up uh, the sort of radio people at Warner and mm-hmm. the, and the and the I guess I I don't know who. People with doctorates in radio, <laughs> doctorates in radio, <laughs> the experts. Anyway, had it down their uh, prescription, and that wasn't involved. But uh, yeah. Well, what do you want to st- start us with? I was going to start with Red Heart, but if, if you, what do you want to play? Oh, um, well, we've been we've been starting um, starting our shows recently with uh, Tired Eyes, which is kind of an unusual tune to start with, but um, I I like it. I, I like that song quite a bit. Good, you wrote it. You should like it. Well, you know. Yeah, some I like more than others. <laughs> <laughs> Tay Rosetta, uh, Tim Baker from the bands in the studio. You've been on the road for a few weeks now, How's it? and, and you, you're saying you're a little, a little under the weather, but you still mm. got quite the jaunt out east to go before it's done. We certainly do. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, that's a bit scary, you know, sometimes when, when I don't know, you, there's a lot that goes into a tour, a lot of planning, a lot of money, and, and, and uh, you know, it represents what you do all day long it represents your whole life really is this mm-hmm. band and uh you know to get sick and it's just really disappointing you know mm-hmm. really frustrating and uh i tend to i have a tendency to get sick quite a bit um i mean you know i won't whine about conditions touring but it's not ideal certainly for, no, for probably staying not. healthy or for healing and um yeah, I've been real sick for a while. I, I, this bronchitis won't won't go away, and trouble breathing. It's, you know, yeah. a bit of an issue when, you, when you're singing all the time. <laughs> but um, yeah, it seems to be working out all right. You know, the odd day off is is good. Try to sleep as much as you can. Yeah, the tour's going well. Other than that, well, yeah, the, the tour's going great. I, I mean, it, it's weird. Every time we go out, it's just like it it gets better, and it it's you know. Well, the crowds are coming too. It just kind too. of blows my mind every time. Like. We, yeah, we haven't played a show that hasn't been real full and real exciting. I remember the yeah. first time you were here, or I guess it was the second time you were in Calgary, we waited outside for two hours. Yeah, there's a bit of that going on. It's amazing. Yeah. You should be playing bigger rooms, maybe, is the Maybe. Issue. Maybe in certain certain places, yeah. But you're playing uh, Minneapolis, right? Is that your first gig we in are. the States, or what's what's going on with that? No, we've done a couple. We've been to New York a couple times. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and that's been all right, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's again, it's weird, you know, to travel so far and to put so much into one show and then to have something 
stupid go wrong. Like, w- <laughs> last time we were there, uh, it was this sickness again. It was, like, hardcore, too. I um, could r- hardly even sing at all without coughing. Um, and we had to actually cancel this. We had a, it was a show in Brooklyn we had to cancel. That's too bad. Because I just, like, couldn't make noise mm-hmm. without coughing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, and the show was like, okay, you know, I don't think we impressed that many people. It's kind, of, it kind of disappointing, you know. It took it took a couple of days to get down there and, like, a lot of money, and you don't, we, you can't get paid for doing shows in the States because, you, you know, yeah, the visa, the visa and thing. And, and, yeah, and anyway, so, yeah, we've done, a, we've, done a, <laughs> we've done a bit in the States, hopefully a lot more, hopefully a lot, you know, better and sort of satisfying shows, but uh, you know, I, it's, it's exciting to go to the United States. New mm-hmm. York City's incredible. You know? Always. Yeah. And, it's well, and the music's well received. It's starting, starting for you down there, you think? It is. Yeah, it is. You know, yeah. Um, it's, 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 I, I have a feeling it's a pretty tough market to get into. Always is. Yeah. It's probably, I don't know. I've heard it's the toughest, you know, in the world. There's just too many great bands and too mm-hmm. many great musicians down there. And everyone's trying to break it there. Yeah. And, and like, yeah, everybody's just amazing and, and uh, you know. Even if you give it your all, it's like, meh, it was okay. <laughs> you know, but in New York City, I mean, think of the choices you have, to, the people you can see on any given night. You know, it's kind of hard to compete, but. Fair enough. Hey, you know, we'll give it a shot.